Hello everyone and welcome to IVSA Bather's official YouTube channel Pashuwani. Pashuwani is a platform that provides you with veterinary education. Our video series consists of practical relevant lecture videos, field approach clinical aspects, guide and tip for future careers, smart content related to both animal and veterinary science. We believe sharing is caring so please like, comment and subscribe for further updates. And now Let's welcome a speaker of today's episode of Saturday's Sharing. Hello everyone, I am Garima Bhambu. I am second year UG student of Veterinary College Bidar, Karnataka. Today I am going to explain you about diet planning for dogs. Here we will see a general idea about nutrition, its importance and how it varies with breed and life stages of dog. Before starting, there is a small disclaimer about this content. As every individual is unique, it needs different diet and a best diet plan for your companion only vet and nutritionist can make. So before changing in your dog's diet, once consult your vet. In this topic, we are going to cover the effects of nutritional diet, diet according to life stages, about commercial and homemade dog food. Nutrition. As we all know that it is combination of protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals and water. These are required in a proper amount for healthy body and this is true for both human and their best friend. We all know that excess of anything is bad for health and same goes for dog's diet. If any nutrient is excess or lacking in quantity may cause obesity, emaxation, allergies etc. These conditions can cause problem in proper growth of dog. Certain conditions we should be aware of and their effects such as rickets mostly happens during growth stage and cause permanent disfigurement due to imbalance of calcium in diet either by having too much or too little, congestive heart failure by excessive salt in diet, growth disorder mainly happens in growth stage, kidney disease by excess of nutrients in diet or having dehydrated condition, obesity eating too much calorie food or poor quality food, pancreatitis it triggered by excessive fat in diet. It's best we give a balanced diet to our dog so that we can avoid having any lifelong disease which are caused by imbalanced food we give to our dog in negligence. From our nutrient topic, we can conclude it in three major points. First, a balanced diet is utmost important for your companion. Second, body need a fixed proportion of nutrition in diet. Third, diet proportion varies with individual. Sources we have for dog food are commercially processed dog food and homemade dog food. Before selecting the food, we must understand their requirements, which varies with following points, dog age, breed, lifestyle, and health history. Dog age. From the time they born to their last stage of life, they need balanced, palatable, and digestible diet. But these vary in density and proportion of nutrients according to age. Breed. With different breed, we also see different breed size, and size is important during considering their diet plan. Lifestyle. Here it means in what way they are using their energy and how much. Many dogs are trained for some particular purpose and that also we have to consider. Health history. Every dog has some kind of health history. It is recommended that during diet planning consult the vet for your dog. By following previous points we can make the best diet plan for our dog. 1 to 3 week old puppy. Normally in this age they are completely dependent on their mother's milk and does not need any other kind of food. But sometimes abandoned puppy or orphan puppy need special care. Sources of milk we have. One is raw milk of cow and goat and other is puppy milk replacer. Cows and goats milk are not ideal for newborn because they contain too much protein compared to dog's milk which is more likely to make newborns lactose intolerance. Well, goat's milk can be digested up to some extent but they both are not ideal milk for dogs. And in milk also using raw which is unhomogenized and unpasteurized is excellent. Instead of using pasteurized homogenized milk which have in destroyed proteins, lac, enzymes and beneficial bacteria but contain drug resistant strain of salmonella as unable to kill this. Whereas raw milk help in making good gut flora by having beneficial bacteria, vitamins and lactose intolerant dog can also absorb raw milk. Puppy milk replacer is available in two forms homemade and commercial. Homemade milk replacer have some recipe to make, but avoid using it as regular feeding. Use it only in emergency case. Commercial milk replacer. It is almost equivalent to mother's milk and contain all the nutrient an infant want. We have to feed them in every 2-3 to three hours in daytime and every 4-5 to five hours in nighttime. 
in small portions. Winning stage. This starts from 3rd or 4th week of age and complete at 7th or 8th week. Main target here is make puppies less dependent on milk and adjust to solid food. As mostly around 8th week puppy get adopted and that time it's hard to provide them them's milk. Process to make puppies wean to solid food is start giving them mixed solid and liquid food. Where in liquid we will use milk or leaf water. In solid we can use special weaning food that comes in market or puppy food. Every week we will decrease the liquid content and increase the solid food. By the end of this stage they will completely wean to solid food and no more need of dam's milk. Puppy stage. Puppies are usually taken care by professional breeders in their early days. Keep in mind that this is time period where they learn, explore and are also weak to infections as they don't have strong immune system. They need healthy and balanced nutrition diet for their growth. In this phase, they go through rapid growth and development. Their requirement is different from adult dog. They need 2.5 times high calorie and 2 times more nutritional food than adult. Knowing about your dog's breed is important, its adult size and other basic needs. According to their adult size and weight, puppies' requirement varies and are divided into four groups. Small size dog breed grows rapidly compared to others' breed and have weaker jaw and smaller teeth. So they need more dense diet having high calorie and nutrition value with small sized cable that easy to chew. Large and giant sized dog breed also need special care. They take more time to reach adult stage. They grow slowly and take time to make their bone structure strong. That's why they need less energy diet compared to small sized breed. If we give them diet which stimulate growth by providing more energy and protein, it can lead them into skeleton disorder. As they will grow faster and have no time to make bones strong enough to handle that massive body weight. They need a balanced diet of calcium and other nutrients. Medium sized dog breed need comparatively less attention in these aspects as they neither grow too fast nor too slow. They just need a balanced nutrients and calorie food to maintain their energy level and body weight. With this they need a feeding schedule which support their growth and change according to their age. For this, we can take help from daily feeding guide which are printed behind commercial food or can make it from nutritionist. It contains a fixed amount of calorie your dog needs and it changes with month. Keep in mind that always include treats and biscuits in that daily guide as they also contain calorie and may cause obesity to dog if dog eating them as extra on daily feed. And once they reach adult stage, stop providing puppy food. Now they need adult food. Always remember that never give adult dog food to puppy as they lack the essential nutrients and balanced diet a puppy need to reach its genetic potential. Adult stage. Once puppy reached its adult weight in required duration, not by overfeeding and gaining overweight, it's time to switch into adult dog food. In market, varieties of food present for specific breed, particular breed size and normal adult dog food. In this stage, they need a balanced diet plan and healthy lifestyle. For best diet plan, follow the feeding guide according to breed size and divide the meal into one or two parts according to dog's activity to avoid obesity. And all feeding guides are not same. They made according to amount of calorie and other nutrients present in its ingredient. All day stock. This stage also varies with breed and weight or dog gain in its previous stage. As their teeth starts dropping and digestive system also becomes sensitive, they need highly palatable and digestible food with low calorie and high fiber diet. They need special attention and your valuable time. Consult your vet for their feeding diet and schedule. Pregnant stage. Special period where we have to take care not only of mother but also those unborn puppies inside the womb. This stage takes approximate 62 to 64 days. But this also varies with breed and litter size inside womb. They need high quality food which can cover all the nutritional demand. For this special food for pregnancy also available in market. Or we can use puppy food according to vet recommendation. As any underfeeding or giving unbalanced diet can be dangerous for both mother and puppies. Even puppies can be weak or having fading puppy syndrome. Where their health declines and die within about 2 weeks of birth. If she is getting balanced nutrition from start then no need for extra supplement. Because excess of vitamins and minerals also harmful for health. For example, excessive calcium intake during pregnancy or nursing can suppress parathyroid hormone production and increase risk of developing low blood calcium level. 
so don't give extra supplement unless your vet prescribe. Always give food in small and frequent meals instead of one or two times large meal as it can cause discomfort in taking breath and increase her intake of food slowly and gradually. There is a thumb rule which is helpful in increasing diet of pregnant dog after converting its adult feed into puppy or pregnancy food. In this rule, we will add 10% amount of food on regular diet by every week until its whelping time and even after whelping, this special diet need to continue to nourish the newborns. Don't switch to adult food unless its puppy went to win. Commercial dog food. As name suggests, it is processed food which have a fixed proportion of nutrients in it and made in different varieties according to dog size, age, breed. They are formulated under scientists, nutritionists with that they take guarantee of providing complete balanced nutrition, having good palatability and digestibility. We can also check ingredients it contain. If any ingredient is allergic for your dog, you can move to other product as there are multiple variety of products available in market. Behind their package, they print daily feeding guide which is helpful in avoiding overfeeding and these guide vary with products as they are made according to required calorie a dog need for a day and ingredients present in that product. Food products are present in dry and wet form according to moisture content they have. In dry food 10 to 12 percent moisture present which prevents spoilage of food on left whole day in bowel but with this dog need plenty of water. Wet food which contains 70 to 80 percent moisture it's better if we use it instantly after opening the packet or within 4 hours, otherwise it will get contaminated in open air. It is helpful for those dogs who consume less water and beneficial for dogs suffering from kidney disease. Homemade dog food Many people prefer this on commercial dog food as they are more processed food and they want to give fresh food to their dog. Here we will use ingredients we have in our kitchen. Well, it have pros and cons both. It will be beneficial and great for your dog if it is made properly and according to certified nutritionist told. For this, pack the raw ingredients available in market like BARF diet, PMR, pre-model raw diet and with these we can use home ingredients. Many sources on internet says homemade food is better but there is no scientific proof to support this statement. Generally, vets doesn't recommend this as giving right diet with correctly balanced nutrient every day, every time of a day need highly specialization. If giving nutrient deficient diet for long duration can impact negatively on your dog's health. Instead of using some fruits and vegetables as complete diet, we can give them as treats. We can't use all plant-based products as most of them are highly toxic for dogs. Here is a list of fruits and vegetables we can give them as treat and some should be avoided. In fruits, never give avocado, it contains persin toxin, cherry having cyanide toxin. Remember that always remove pit and seeds from fruits before giving as they also contain cyanide. Grapes, the most dangerous fruit, cause acute sudden kidney failure. Tomato, having solanin toxin. In vegetables, never give asparagus, mushroom, onion, spinach. This is just a small list, large number of variety and other fruits and vegetables present in market. Before adding any of them in your dog's diet, once consult your vet. Few conclusive points we should remember. If you are adding any new ingredients in diet plan, please consult your vet first as some foods are not suitable for your dog breed. There are many recipes available online for your dog. Before applying them, once checked it from certified expert nutritionist. Potential toxic ingredients that should be avoided are chocolate, xylitol, avocado, grapes, resin, onion, garlic, and many others. Your dog must have easy access to drinking water and always try to give a balanced nutritional diet under wet recommendation. And at last, thank you for watching.